Hey, I'm Courtney Waterman, your tutor. Lover of anime, manga, and math. And you just tuned into another session of Tutor Me Senpai. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're jumping into a fifth grade topic, converting your feet to miles and your miles to feet. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'll be putting time codes in for this video in the description box below. So use it to skip ahead to whatever part of the video you think is most interesting. As always, if you have any questions about what we see today, or even your own homework, you can visit my Facebook page at Tumi Senpai and tell me all about it there. This video is going to have two parts, so leave a like, smash the subscribe button, and let's get started. So today we're going to do some unit conversions from feet to miles and from miles back to feet. But just like we did in our other videos on unit conversions, we need to start with our basic unit conversion for this exercise. So the basic unit conversion for feet to miles is really just asking us how many feet are going to be in a single mile. Once we know that, we can do all of our conversions from feet to miles and miles back to feet. So the basic unit conversion for this exercise is going to be one mile, mi is short for mile, equals 5,280 feet. One mile is going to be 5,280 feet. This is our basic unit conversion when we're converting from feet to miles and miles back to feet. So let's say we were given 47,520 feet. And we want to know how many miles does that give us? Well, we have 47,520. 47,000. It sounds like a really big amount of miles that we're going to have. But remember, one mile is already going to be 5,000 feet. So we want to see how many groups of 5,280 can we get out of this 47,520. That tells us that we're going to have to divide. We want to break this up into groups of 5,280. So to go about this answer, we're going to do some division. Dividing, and make that a little bit better, dividing 47,520 by 5,280. Once you do this, you'll see that the answer is going to be quite simply 9. 9 is going to be the result of this division, which means that 9 is going to be the amount of miles we have when we have 47,520 feet. Nine groups of 5,280 make up 47,520. So let's say we have a little bit more. We have more feet. Instead of 47,000, let's say we have instead 110,880 feet. So we have quite a bit more feet. How many miles do you think we're going to have when we have this many feet? We're going to do it the same exact way. So we're going to take that big number here. We want to figure out how many groups of 5,280 can we get out of this. So we have to divide. Simple division. Whether you do long division or you have a calculator, whatever you're going to do, you have to divide. And when you divide this, you're going to see you're going to get a whopping 21. 21 is what you get when you do this division, which means that this is going to be 21 miles. When you're converting your feet to miles, you're going to take your total number of feet you have, divide it by your 5,280. Remember, you're trying to figure out how many groups of this amount of feet can you get out of your total amount of feet here. That will tell you how many miles you're going to have. So now that we've converted from feet to miles, let's go back from miles to feet. So if we're going from miles to feet and we were given 72 miles, how many feet would we have? Well, remember, this is our basic unit conversion that's going to help us go from feet to miles and also from miles to feet. So if we have 72 miles, but we know that every mile we have is going to be 5,280 feet, how many feet are we going to have? Well, a better question is, how do we find the number of feet we're going to have? Well, 72 miles, each mile being 5,280, means that we're going to multiply this 72 
multiply the 72 by your 5,280. If each mile is this amount, you have 72 of them. So you're gonna have 72 times this amount. And when we do that, we're going to get 380,160. This is going to be how many feet we have. Remember, we're trying to find our, our feet here. How many feet we have when we have 72 miles. We're not afraid of big numbers, so let's do another example with a slightly bigger number. Let's say instead of 72 miles, we have 92 miles. Does that make this a little harder? Not really. Maybe a little bit more work, but not necessarily too hard. What are we gonna do when we have 92 miles and we're trying to figure out how many feet that gives us? We're gonna do the same exact thing. Remember, when you're having your miles go to feet, you're looking at, well, each mile is gonna be this amount. So let's multiply. 92 times that 5,280. And when you do that, what do you get? You're gonna have 485,760. That means that whenever we have 92 miles, we're going to have 485,760 feet. So as you see, when you're going from miles to feet, like we are right now, we're gonna take our total number of miles and multiply it by your 5,280 feet, which is different from what we had to do when we went from feet to miles in the previous section. We took our total number of feet and divided it by the total number of feet here. And if you have a hard time remembering that, well, just take a look at this. This gives you a nice shortcut or a nice reminder of what you need to do. Notice the number attached to miles is less than the number attached to feet. So if you're going from miles to feet, you want to have a bigger number. Typically when you're thinking of bigger numbers or growing numbers, you're not really thinking of dividing. You're thinking of multiplying. Multiplying gives you a bigger number. So when you're going from miles to feet, miles being this smaller number here to a larger number for feet, you're multiplying. When you're going from feet to miles, you're going from having a large number here to a smaller number, which makes you think of division. So feet to miles, division. Miles to feet, multiplication. So I hope you're able to follow along with today's video, and I hope you now understand how you can convert your feet to your miles and your miles back to your feet. However, if you have any questions about what we saw today, or even your own homework, remember, you can visit my Facebook page at Tumi Senpai and tell me all about it there. If you hadn't done so already, remember to do that like. It surely helps the channel by letting YouTube know that you found the video helpful. And if you found the video helpful, so can someone else. So leave a like, hit the notification bell, smash the subscribe button, and share this video with a friend. Well, that's all the time I have for today. I really hope this helped with your homework. I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. I'm Courtney, and this has been another session of Tutor Me Senpai.